In this video, we'll be configuring ICE's policy set for VPN access. The policy set will check to ensure that the endpoint has the posture agent. If not, it'll need to refer the endpoint to the client provisioning policy. After the endpoint is provisioned, it will be checked against the posture policy and access will be granted based on whether or not the endpoint is compliant. To start, we're going to have to create the building blocks of our policy. I'm going to start by configuring the authorization profile for the client provisioning web redirection. Navigate to Policy, Policy Elements, Results, Authorization, and Authorization Profile. Let's click on Add and create a new authorization profile named CP-Redirect. Under Common Tasks, I'm going to check the box for Web Redirection. And I'm going to add an ACL name of Posture-Redirect. We're going to have to create an ACL on the actual ASA that will match this name. From the first drop down, I'm going to go ahead and pick Client Provisioning. And from the second one, I'm going to, for the value, I'm going to pick default, the default Client Provisioning Portal. Um, one other thing to note is that if I check the box for static IP or hostname FQDN, I can actually put a different FQDN than what's actually on the ASA or on the I server. But I'm not going to go ahead and do that right now. I'm going to go ahead and uncheck that, and we'll click Submit to sum save this. So let's take a look at the client provisioning portal for a moment. Navigate to Administration, Device Portal Management, and Client Provisioning. And we're going to go ahead and click on the actual por default portal and take a look at a few things. Under the portal settings, we can specify another fully qualified domain name that we can use for the client provisioning portal. But I'm not going to go ahead and configure that this time. Now let's go back to Policy, Policy Elements, Results, and Downloadable ACLs. Since the ASA supports downloadable ACLs, let's go ahead and configure them for different varying levels of access. For the first ACL, I'm going to name it Posture Non-Compliant, and I'm going to block access to our two most sensitive hosts in the network, but allow access to everything else. Now let's go ahead and click on Authorization Profiles on the left-hand side of the screen, and we're going to go ahead and put this downloadable ACL in one. For the new authorization profile, I'm going to go ahead and name it VPN Non-Compliant. And the only thing I'm going to add in there is the downloadable ACL that we just configured. Next up, we're going to navigate to Policy and then Policy Sets so we can start configuring this. And we're going to just reuse a VPN policy set that we had in a previous video. It's just very basic, looking at AD access, and that they're part of the domain users group. So let's go ahead and modify the name of this policy rule. I'm just going to call it Compliant Domain Users. For the existing authorization rule, I'm going to go ahead and edit the conditions. And I'm going to add a new one. This one is going to be Posture Status equals Compliant. Then I'm going to go ahead and duplicate another rule below that. And I'm going to change this to non-compliant. And the posture status, we'll just go ahead and change that over to non-compliant. And for the authorization profile, I'm going to use the one that I just created. And let's go ahead and add another rule below this. This one is going to redirect to client provisioning if we don't have um, an idea of what their compliance status is. I'll name it Compliance Status Unknown and add that posture status condition. And once I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and add my CP redirect authorization profile. And that should finish up that policy set. And I'll go ahead and save this policy set. And that should wrap up the configuration of the policy set for VPN posture. In the next video, we'll go ahead and configure the network access device.